The Valley Railway Series, Book 3, Heroic Engines. Dear friends, in the last book, Smudger, the new little engine on the Lower Valley Railway, told me all about when he first joined the railway many years ago. His railway stretches across the eastern side of the island, serving many farmers, industries, and villages cheaply. But after Lewis's fire, Smudger explained, we were so busy cleaning up the mess that we nearly forgot about our other work. The little controller didn't like that at all. He went on to tell me about an interesting incident from one bitter winter of 1951. The Author Confusion and Delay The three engines arrived back at the sheds, and Lewis hurried away back towards the harbor. The little controllers soon arrived. So, have your new snow plows been fitted? The three engines glanced nervously at each other. Uh, the ship carrying them was delayed, sir. It should be docking later today, though. <sighs> All right, then. You'll have to use your old ones until then. Candy, your train is ready. Smudger, Edward Mann, you'll be helping out the farm workers today. Yes, yes sir. sir. Candy shivered as she watched the snow begin to fall from the dark clouds. Lewis was on his way back to the harbor. The line back passes by the nearby farms, which use the little railway as a means for cheap transportation of goods to the villages. Lewis was nearly back when a farmer stopped him. Some other engines were coming later, but since you're here now, can you please deliver my fruits to the market? Yes, of course, sir. He was coupled up to the trucks and trundled off before wondering who the other engines were. I'm already doing the work. I'm sure nobody will really notice. Meanwhile, Candy was puffing along with her coal trucks. The snow was getting thicker around her as she hurried along. Her driver, exposed to the cold, huddled in his thick jacket. She pushed her hardest through the snowdrifts, but the next one was always bigger than the last. Finally, she found a drift far too large for her to push through safely. We'll have to go back to the yard. Lewis should be able to help us. Candy sighed and reversed her train. As she chuffed into the yard, she whistled at Smudger and Edward, who were off to collect the goods from the farms. At the big railway's carriage shed, Naomi was just waking up from her peaceful sleep. She loved how the morning sun shone bright through the thick clouds, making the falling snow around them sparkle. It was almost magical. Then she realized there was something next to her that wasn't there before. She grew stiff and nervous. She slowly glanced over to see what the intruder was. It was a long, gray engine who easily towered over her. He was filthy, covered in dirt and bits of rust, and scrap was chalked all over. Naomi was frozen in terror. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? Oh, good morning. Naomi's scream of terror could be heard for miles around. Meanwhile, Candy was growing impatient. Her driver had tried calling the harbor, but Lewis had not arrived back yet. Where could he be? I hate being late. Just then, Smudger and Edward arrived back, looking worried. Our train's missing. The farmer says some other engine was there to take it for us. It must have been Lewis then. What on earth does he think he's doing out there? I need him to push snow for me. We'll take his place. We won't be late. I promise. Candy glanced suspiciously at him, but reluctantly agreed. Smudger and Edward Mann traveled in front. As Smudger was bigger, he could charge at the snowdrift, and then Edward would follow behind to push aside whatever was left. Candy's train made good time, and the three headed back to the sheds together. But when they arrived, they found the little controller waiting for them. He was with a slightly taller, older man. This was the big controller who ran the big railway. I've just called the harbor. They say Lewis is missing, and your snowplows have been waiting there since last night. 
And I've just heard of an engine appearing on the other railway that wasn't there before. Mind explaining what really happened last night? The engines gulped. They knew they had been caught. It's my fault, sir. Smudger took a deep breath and explained to the two controllers what had happened. The controllers stared. Smudger was worried now, wondering if the engine they worked so hard to save would now be scrapped. But the big controller looked pleased. Well done. <laughs> We've needed a new engine for some time now, and this will be a perfect addition to our railway. Smudger's jaw dropped. He couldn't believe what he had heard. He'll be sent to our works right away. He then spoke to the little controller. You should be proud to have such heroic engines on your railway. The little controller smiled at the three engines. Indeed, I am. Mm -hmm.